What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you guys how to get StealthBot and how to configure it. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to pull up your internet and you're going to need to go to Google or you can type it up in the address bar StealthBot StealthBot.net You can type that in the address bar, you can just type it in Google and it'll pop up. Then you click on StealthBot or if you type it in the address bar you'll come to this page. You want to scroll down to forms to a second form and it'll say StealthBot version 2.7 click download download alright and then it'll bring you to this Wikipedia page where the actual download link is at click this the blue download StealthBot button and it'll say ask you to save you save you run install you know how that goes I'm not gonna do it cuz I already have it installed on my computer so once you get that done you're gonna have this box right there stealth butt launcher so you double click that and you're gonna get a pop-up that looks like this you're not gonna have these here these are my already these are the bots I already have going on but so you're gonna go to create a profile and then you're gonna type it doesn't matter what the name this is not the name of what your bot is gonna be so it does not have to be whatever you want your bot name to be that'll be later so it can just be one for now so I'll click that and then you can either you can do create a shortcut so that it pops up ugh, so that it pops up on your on your desktop so you don't have to go through all this all the time you can just double click this and it brings up your page but if you don't do that if you don't want that on your desktop then just click the launcher and then highlight that one and launch selected profile and you'll get it up then for the first time you want to go to bot settings and you're going to need to go to general settings or you can do the stealth bot step-by-step -step configuration if you want to if you're getting if it's just confusing and too hard for you but I'm going to go to general settings and show you how to do it qu quicker faster and more efficient then you want to go for username this is going to be the actual username of your bot so if my I'm going to make it the name of my YouTube account techman051 oops alright next you're gonna need to use your password you don't have to make the username and password on uh, StarCraft first you don't have to if you just if it's an unused account and you put and you put your password in the first time you connect it'll automatically ask you to make a new profile and you just say yes no whatever ignore type in an email whatever it is you want to do so let me put a password and then I don't know what that is. Anyway, for CD key, you can use StarCraft, Diablo 2, Warcraft 3, or Warcraft 2 BNE. Or you can use any of the expansions for uh, StarCraft, Diablo 2, or Warcraft 3. Alright, now, for if you're trying to make an ops channel for your clan, you have to use a Diablo 2 key. That's the only way you can claim ops of a channel so you can use Diablo 2 or you can use the Lord of Destruction uh, Diablo 2 expansion but anyway you have to highlight the one you want and put in the CD key there if you don't have a CD key and you want to buy a CD key you can just buy a CD key online you can go to Blizzard's webpage let's go to Google I'll show you how to get to that you can go to it doesn't really matter uh, Diablo to CD CD nah, CD key. You can download a generator or key gen, whatever you want to do. I don't recommend downloading these generators or key gens because a lot of the times they come with a uh, virus, so I don't do that. But you can go buy them cheap Diablo two CD keys. You can buy them from a website. I think they're like they can range anywhere from here's one that's four ninety nine. That's a great price. A lot of the, I think I bought mine for six six dollars, but then instead of buying the whole game, which I did the first time I did this because I'm an idiot, I went and bought the whole game. It was like forty bucks, and I didn't even play Diablo because I think it's a terrible game. I just used the CD key to make a bot, which was dumb because I didn't know about this. But you can go just go online and buy a CD key, and they will email you the CD key, and then you can just use that CD key for your bot, and it's only four ninety nine. You don't have to buy the disc or anything. 
You can do that the same with Warcraft 3 or even Starcraft if you lo lost your Starcraft 3 or your Starcraft CD key. So once you got your CD key, you just enter it in here, whatever it is. You have like I said, you have to have a Diablo 2 key to make an ops channel. If you want a clan channel like Clan Liquid or Clan Rome, you have to have 10 Warcraft 3 bots. And I'll make another video on how to make that. It's kind of difficult and takes a long time, but if you want an ops channel, just go with the Diablo 2 key. It's simple, easy. Anyway, so you enter your key, and then you go to home channel. What you want your home channel to be. If you want to gain ops with the hammer, you have to have op, and then space whatever your username is. You can copy paste it, whatever. And that's it. Then you'll have the hammer and the ops automatically. And then bot owner, you want to put your username, your StarCraft username, so that you have full access over your bot. So say I was, go away, no, go, I don't want that. All right. So for say, I wanted to put mine in there. I'd put Marine Liquid. All right. So then that would mean I would have 200 access or full access over my bot. And then you go over here to servers. You wanna you can connect to east, you can east, west, Europe, or Asia. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, you connect to all. You can connect to all of them. So I'm using west, but I'm using the IP address that's right under the first one under, because I don't know. That's just the one. That's the way I was taught to set it up, and that's just the one I'm using. But I'm pretty sure you can use any of them. All right. Then you want to go to advanced settings, and you have connection method is BNLS dash battle.net login server that is default that works you don't have to change anything with that the only thing you need to change on this page is going to be the BNLS server and you want to change that to fix phix dot no ip dot org and I'll zoom in on that so that you guys can oh well, let's see mag I'll zoom in on that so that you can see what it is. Fix.noip.org. All right, let me get rid of this. All right, and then once you have that done, there's there's other things you can do to set up your bot. These are just you know fun goof around stuff. If you want to, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff. Splash screen on startup. All kinds of mess. And then for general settings, if you want moderation settings you can enable kick on yell enable plug-in bands all kinds of stuff and then greet message if you have an ops channel or clan channel and you wanna when somebody joins you want your bot to say something like welcome marine liquid to op tech man 051 then you would do enable greet and I do whisper but anyway you would do welcome comma and there is a lot of uh, default stuff that you can use, like current channel is percent %c. So if you wanted to say welcome, the username of the person who just joined, percent %0. So welcome percent %0 to uh, percent %c, which is current channel. So it would be welcome marine liquid to techman051 is what that would say. Then you want to, if that's all you want to do, you can change your idle messages or your miscellaneous settings. If you want to use profile amp, which is like your music, I think. I don't use it. Anyway, but once you're done with all your settings, you want to make sure that you hit imply and close down at the bottom right. If you don't do that, you'll lose all your settings you just set up. So once you click apply and close, you'll get to a screen that looks like this. You'll come back to this screen. And then once you get to this screen, you hit connect. Uh, let me go to my uh, alright so once you're at the screen you hit connect and you can uh, once you connect a lot of the times on the first time you time the first time you try to connect it'll stop like right here for a long time and you're wondering what's going on why is this not working the guy on YouTube is an idiot and told me wrong well, that's wrong, because I am not an idiot, although sometimes I feel like an idiot. But what you want to do is you just wait. you got to wait it out. A lot of the times on the first time, it takes forever for it to connect. 
So, I mean, the uh, first time I did it, I think it took me like 30 minutes. So just go play a StarCraft game or two, and then come back, and you should be fine. And then once you connect, you'll have your bot up here. This will be the channel. Like, if you're on StarCraft, your channel's always on the middle right, and this is your chat box. So it kind of looks like it's a StarCraft setup. All the people will be lined up here. And then from here, you can do stuff with your bot, or you can use the command trigger that you use, that you set up earlier. But from the bot chat box you have to use slash if you want to use do anything so if you wanted to tell your bot to join a different channel you could do slash join or j clan liquid and it joins that clan here's my clan there's my other bot so I mean and if you're on your bot you can do all kinds of things from here like right click and you can do shit list squelch unsquelch safe list band kick whatever you want to do and then you can send it back to your channel, your op channel. Oh, op AFK. And then I think that's about it. You can do all your commanding from your StarCraft. If you want to do, there's uh, certain scripts that you can download straight from your um, bot. Some one, some cool uh, stuff. So you go to slash updates from your bot. And it'll give you a list of all this jazz here that you can download. Time ban, which is it lets you know it lets you ban the use user for a specific amount of time. Or I downloaded Snap and Jack Trivia for Atheist because he loves trivia games. And you download you so you got to know this prefix here. It'll say prefix st or prefix spc. You got to know that to download it. If it's green. At the top here, it'll say if it's green, it means new. If it's blue, it's an updated version of whatever it is. And if it's orange, it's installed. So right now, I only have the trivia game installed. So that's the only thing that's orange. To download something, like say I wanted to download the weather info. The prefix is weather info. You do slash get plugin. And then you do space the prefix. Weather info and you down and you click enter and it'll say downloading weather info plugin blah 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 scripts reloaded now you have two and then from your bot like if you if you don't know how to command that you just go to like when you're on StarCraft you want to do dot turn on trivia or dot start trivia and it doesn't work go here go to back to scripts plugin systems uh let's see Options, I think it is, and open plugins folder. No, that ain't it. Uh, scripts, plugin systems. You go to whatever it is, like say it's the tribute and open file. No, that ain't it either. Hold on, let me find it. Um, I think it's I think it's open settings ini. Yeah, there it is. All right, so it'll open on Notepad, and it'll tell you everything. Alright. It'll say PS, which is your prefix of what you just downloaded. And then it'll say all kinds of stuff here. You can change your access of who you want, how, what access you need to, ha to command this. But basically, you don't want to fool with too much of this stuff or you just screw the whole thing up. And but if you do uh, change it, you got to make sure that you save it so that it, it saves. And then if you want to know commands. You want to do slash p help, and then the the uh, oh, what do you call it? The prefix. So if I wanted to know it for weather info, I do slash p help weather info, and it would give me the commands. So dot weather, and then you'd have to put in your city or city state or zip code, and it'll tell you the uh, the what the weather is forecast. Same way, if you wanted to do uh, trivia prefix is st, so you do slash p help st and it would give you commands trivia dot trivia on dot score dot score user whatever it is you want to do whatever you want to find out that's how you do it all right i think that's about it so go down load stealth bot and have a great time thanks for watching